Coach Matt Kosandu here at the T-Mobile Arena for UFC 300 for Sony Sports Network in India, standing alongside a victorious Bo Nickel, who now goes 6-0, remains undefeated. But in the post-fight interview, Bo, you basically said you weren't happy with your performance. Why is that? You know, there's just, uh, for me, the result of the fight isn't the most important thing. It's how I got there. And, you know, there was just so much to improve and so many things that I could have done better. And so now, a little bit more moved, I feel um, a little differently because while I didn't do everything I wanted to do, you know, I met some adversity and I battled through it and, and did what I needed to do to win the fight. And yeah. so um, I think that those are just lessons that are going to make me better and you know, I'm appreciative of that for them. Uh, you took the words right out of my mouth. Um, you know, the time off that you took to level up and, and improve your game. You want to go through a bit of diversity in a live environment like that to yeah. know where you're at, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it's just hard to get that in training, you know. It's hard to get that feeling. Um, obviously, we're not hitting each other like that, you know, with little gloves in a, in a sparring round in, in a training session. And so, you know, to feel that for the first time is something that, uh, you know, it happened. And like I said, the further away from the fight I get, the further removed, I think the more grateful I'm going to be. And uh, it's just a good lesson for me, a good part of my development. I feel like the, another subplot to your journey in the UFC is your relationship with the UFC fan base. Um, how do you, where, do, where are we right now and how do you think we can change and, and improve things as we go along? I love the UFC fans, man. They're the best. Uh, you know, they're just absolute maniacs. And so, you know, for me, uh, I got a few boos this weekend and I, I didn't expect it, but I guess, you know, that's nothing new for me. I, I, anytime, you know, I was in college, we traveled to an away match, there was 10,000 people booing me, right? And so, you know, for me to go out into the crowd, I felt the energy and there was way more positivity in the actual fight. And so that, that's, uh, to me, what's cool. It says there are a few people that obviously were upset at me for being where I'm at on the card, but I think the overwhelming majority of fans um, like me and uh, I think the ones that don't, I'm going to win them over. You know, that's my plan at least is just keep fighting hard and do my thing. And, you know, you see all, all these guys, all these greats, they have losses on their record and uh, does, or you know they, they have times when the fans you know aren't happy with them and uh, you know they're, they're still pretty much universally loved and I know I'll get there too. Like I said, you took some time off, but is now the the time to start fighting a little bit more consistently? And if so, when would you like to return? Absolutely. Um, so I took nine months off between now and my last fight, um, just because I had five fights in a row uh, leading up to that, and it was just a lot of training camps, and I wanted to take some time to develop. And uh, you know now I think. Um, it's time to fight again soon. I would love to fight again in the next few months. Um, I'll talk, it, it's so soon, you know, I don't have it planned out yet, but I would love, you know, maybe late summer to, to get another fight in. Well, I can't wait. I'm sure a lot of people can't wait. And uh, it's really nice to kind of start to cover the progression of such a you know, high level prospect in the UFC. And congratulations on going 6-0 now in the promotion. Thank you. I appreciate that.